All right, welcome to the Bookmap live trading webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap, and this will be the uh, live analysis webinar we do every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, tomorrow we'll have live trading with Stocks Trader uh, J Trader, uh, and then Thursday uh, we have Scott Polsini, Futures Trader, uh, at 10 a.m. Uh, also taking live trades. Uh, the whole idea here is you got the educational course, you have the live analysis that goes through that educational course. It is all forward looking, it's not hindsight. Then we have the live trading. Uh, so you get a, a real complete picture here uh, and it's all for free right now. Uh, so uh, take advantage of it uh, and um, uh, hope, hope you guys uh, find, it, find it valuable here. Um, so the let's go through the risk disclosure and jump right in general disclosure all bookmap limited materials information and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations risk disclosure trading futures equities and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results all right so let's jump in and see what's going on here uh, and um, I take a look at Bookmap. Boy, we've had some really choppy um, and and very tricky uh, trading. Uh, you know, a lot of this has to deal with uh, the environment we're in right now. Uh, we have some volatility and we have some geopolitical tensions, so you really have to kind of uh, keep your eyes on the news and what's happening, uh, and uh, and look out uh, because when those events, uh, geopolitical uh, news events. Uh, unfold um, the market can really move so uh, be aware of that and the risk uh, that uh, that you're taking here right so uh, it's important it's very very important uh, it can wipe you out very easily it can also make you very rich very easily uh, so <laughs> we just uh, need to be aware of the environment um, all right so let's uh, let's zoom out we're going to look at higher time frame to begin with uh, and just get our bigger picture levels of interest then we want to look at the order flow around those levels and we'll look at market structure etc so we're just going to look at a simple candlestick chart um, from rhythmic r trader here uh, and uh, we have a daily on the left uh, and then we have the uh, hourly here uh, in the middle and then the 15 minute or maybe it's even five minutes here yeah it's five minutes let's put in 15 uh, on the right not 5 15 15 there we go all right and nice little gap here uh, it's not so little but uh, let's also show more bars in here okay all right that's good okay great great all right so we get a little bit of insight here we're above or just testing a level that we put in here on our 15 minute chart uh, start with a daily all right so uh, now this is i mean it's just uncanny oh it's just how the market works it, it's not uncanny it's it's like um uh we we uh, read the order flow here on the bars market structure really uh not really order flow uh it's just like um previous highs previous swings uh you can see this swing over here on the daily and that we came up and retested that area twice here and it failed uh looking for it to go lower uh, and then here uh, you can see the retest today back to this cluster up in here. See, see where it dropped in here or there was a kind of some swings in here. Uh, that's where we're retesting right now. OK, so uh, now what we want to understand on this daily chart is, well, are we going to come back and, and maybe fill this gap? That uh, looks like around um, 4426. Uh, or are we going to see more buyers come in and they don't care about the gap? Uh, they're going to try to trade it back up into maybe some of these levels up here like maybe uh 45 25 or maybe even higher back up to the previous swings here uh 45 80 etc so uh or are we going to see sellers come in and not only trade back to the gap but also the swing low from yesterday okay so uh, uh we don't know we're going to look at the hourly chart get a better uh, feel for it here and then the 15 minute chart okay the hourly chart uh, we can see that uh, the gap up here, nice gap up uh, above some of these swings right here. And we even drew in this level here uh, previously um, just because of the swings uh, in here. Right. Uh, more or less, I, I believe. Let, let's uh, add a little bit, add some more bars in here, actually. Uh, one hour, one week. 
let's go a month okay there we go okay not bad not bad it's this swing over here uh, but we're looking for yeah you know this this one up here as well uh, you can see it it kind of went to it uh, on the hourly chart here and and it sold off okay, it could come up maybe even to some of these areas where we uh, we see yesterday's action the move down kind of slowed down here and then it moved again uh, so that was uh, later in the afternoon uh, this was the uh, chop fest from yesterday I believe uh, around that 10 uh, a.m. to 11, 11.30, and all that back and forth. We're looking for direction. Um, so, um, boy, no, that was, that was, uh, no, this is what we're looking at down here, I guess, um, uh, as yesterday's action in that chop fest. But we, we did see this chop fest, and this was on Friday, and we're looking for that follow through. And, and that, that really turned out nicely on Friday beautiful move uh, anyway uh, so we're back up here now let's look at the 15 minute chart and kind of look at some of these levels here uh, we'd previously drawn in these levels uh, and looking for kind of retests to them uh, and maybe drops from them as well uh, so we've kind of tested back up here uh, and um, yeah I'm, I'm not really seeing too much right now uh, in the 15 minute chart now this is a regular uh, trading hours uh, time frame so we see the gap uh, I'm curious to see if we're going to fill this gap or not. Uh, so maybe we can see a retest back down to this kind of swing low here uh, at the open 44.37. Uh, see what's happening there. Uh, let's jump into book map and, uh, and see what's going on. All right. So we zoom into book map here. I'm going to put a little more data in here, some backfill data. If you guys want more backfill data, you can get it. Uh, you have to subscribe to it from DX feed. I, it's not much though. You can, it's like 14 bucks a month, uh, but uh, uh, they they do offer it. Uh, so you can get up to 24 hours of, of backfill data. Uh, all right. So, uh, yeah, good morning, everybody. So sorry about that. I'm just looking over the questions right now. <laughs> you deserve free uh, with the 13 subscriptions. We need to use this platform. Um yeah, Alec. I mean, you've been just fantastic in here. Really uh, enjoy your uh, uh, your input. It's been been uh, really really good. Uh, and learning. I mean, I, I, it, we're tracking your learning uh, here in real time. Uh, fantastic stuff. Um, all right. So what are we getting from uh, the the order flow right now? Not much. We see the uh, the cash open here. We even see this kind of double bottom pattern here. Uh, and uh, the buyers came roaring in but not for very long here. It just went up about uh, from 40 to about 60, a little bit higher. Uh, and then uh, every, everything really kind of changes around 930 at the cash open. You can see high liquidity comes in here uh, around the 68 level and then up here around this 81 level as well. Uh, and uh, uh, then you can see the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, failure here, trades into this high liquidity at 4460, starts to go back down. And then here's the move uh, lower from one uh, uh, consolidation a range here to another range here okay so we can draw up uh, and and you'll actually see you'll see this again and again uh, you know you, you guys know that uh, but the there's a kind of a bigger range here and this is something that you see quite often um, in the uh, Asian session, for example, is you'll see like, uh, you know, it accepts up in a range up in here, something like this for a while, and then it just shifts. And then it accepts in a new range like this. Okay. Now there's a bigger range to it, uh, you know, uh, so we're kind of looking at fractal events within here. Uh, the um, uh, So we're, we're in this kind of new range down here, right? And we're kind of looking at it and thinking, all right, well, you know, what's this, what's going on within this range here? What's the order flow within this range right now? Uh, and how can we get deeper insight to it? Well, let's take a look at it and bigger picture, you know, keep it simple here. Step back. All right. So we have, um, uh, we didn't even get a retest back up to where it dropped from here uh, in, in this range here. Actually, a little touch right there. That's about it. Uh, and it's been a little bit lower here, and it's still making lower lows uh, and uh, uh, and lower highs here, too. Uh, here's a little bit of difference. It made an equal one. 
Okay, so you know we're kind of going from this kind of drip, dripping down or downtrending uh, environment here to kind of equal now. In fact, it was a higher it was a higher low here. Okay, based on that, let's see if these buyers can come in right now from 46 here on up to uh, 50. Okay, looking for that test here, just based on what we're looking at right now. Uh, in the order flow the buyers are coming in we made this uh, higher low here and we see some buyers in here we get a pause we see buyers starting to come in at 46 we're looking for the move up to 50 All right There's some iceberg orders in there as well huge uh, 670 well 600 and looks like that one already transacted or it's transacting again here 663 or they moved it they may, may have moved it so we have two orders up there. Okay, so that was a really quick scalp or move, uh, but uh, you know, pretty pretty easy read I thought uh, on that uh, that uh, they're going to trade back up into this area here by understanding structure first. Okay, that we're, we we just went through, and then order flow within that structure. We see the buyers come in, pause, more buyers come in, and then look at this skew in the order book too. Okay, this happened afterwards, uh, but it, it had already kind of reached up here, and now they're skewing the book uh, at 45 here. Okay, more liquidity at a higher level here on the on the bid. Okay, and, and that's bullish. All right. Uh, now, it, well, hmm. Let me take a step back on that. Uh, not necessarily bullish. It's the context we want to understand. So we know that this action took place, but did we still find buyers? after that that's what we want to know and we want to understand and yeah we are so we're looking to see if we can now maybe even break through this high liquidity here at 50 uh, and if we see more buyers then we're looking for a move back up to this area here where it dropped from and there's liquidity already there at, at 55 so let's see if they can establish a new trading range from it went from here down to here and let's see if they can get it back up to here, okay, to 55. So small trading range of, well, it's not that small, I guess five points isn't, usually two points is kind of a trading range with the uh, S&P. But with there's more volatility in here, we're going to get a bigger range. Yeah, they're definitely um, still in here, uh, and uh, uh, Alec and, yeah, and, 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 uh, and Doug, I mean, they're still in here. So let's zoom in and see what's going on here. Six hundred sixty-one have transacted. I mean, and it's it's been holding it down definitely. I mean, like, uh, or you know, I know we have high liquidity there too. Uh, but this iceberg started to transact. Um, where's my blue line? Show me my blue line. Yeah, if I take the automatic threshold off, I should see it. It should, it should show up in here. Because we zoomed out and it shows up. Yeah, there it is. That's weird. Okay, I'll, I'll report that to the guys. Um, the um, anyway, like it started transacting here, uh, and then uh, the stayed in here. An, another just massive transaction for an iceberg, at least, is is pretty big. Um, uh, and, you know, uh, pretty big size here. And then another like 100 after that. So we're at 661, and we see another iceberg in here, front running it here with four. Four have transacted and two orders. All right, let's see if they see if these buyers can trade through this high liquidity here at 50 and also through this iceberg, uh, fill it completely. And, and we'll see how much it is. Is it 1,000? Is it 2,000? Uh, we don't know. That we don't know. We just know the transactions. OK, 
yesterday. Buyers could not even get through it. Um, I'm really surprised. Uh, the buying pressure was pretty good in here. Uh, it, it transacted into it here. Uh, only 63 transacted, and we know that. Uh, and that's it. So here come the sellers. Okay, back down to where this move kind of broke out here. Uh, I'm actually looking to see if the sellers can make it now down lower uh, to this liquidity here. Uh, around this 41 area down here. Okay, Lewis, you're looking at CL. Okay, and we got VWAP up there also, thanks, Dove. Uh, yeah, let me turn on VWAP. Yeah, we have a VWAP right there as well. Okay, now we can also look at, you know, uh, point of control or just most traded level, and it's up here too. Okay, here goes another attempt on the buy side here. Okay, it came down. It came down into the point of control of this little area in here, right? Tagged it here, and we're back up again. Now I'm looking for these buyers to trade into, and I think they can try to bust out and through this 50 here. I think they've got enough buying pressure. Look at the bid as well here. See the bid, uh, the blue kind of underneath here. This is looking good. Let's see if they can do it. Okay, and trade into this 50 uh, and above. And no, immediately, immediately sold off again here. Immediate. All right, here they go again. They're going to give it another shot here. Let's see it, buyers. Let's see if you can make it back up to here. The, the, this blue, this kind of came out of the blue here, uh, this move here on that sell side. What I'm looking at is buying pressure up here, 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 uh, a breakdown, and then more buying pressure up here again. And then someone came in or, you know, traders came in and moved it very, very quickly right back down. I'm looking for buyers to trade it right back up, though, again. All right. Nice cluster of buying up here. And I think we can get the breakout. Okay. All right, buyers. Let's see what you got. Let's see if you're going to you're going to come in here. Let's see if we can get a little wind at our back on the on the bid here as well. And trade it right up to 50 here. Okay. Now on this one here. If we can get the buyers up here, I'm looking for a breakout as well. They've tried it a few times on the sell side down here. Uh, we have some stop runs down here as well. So I'm looking now to break it and then see the stop runs to the upside here. Okay, And then break through this VWAP here. Now, like uh, like Dove is, is, is uh, uh, noticing or mentioning here, we have a big VWAP there. Well, are, do we have larger players on VWAP here just selling? Is that what they're doing? Uh, it's, it's tagged it now one, two, three, four. This is the fifth time. Okay. All I know is that there's buying pressure up here. That's all I know. I, I, and I'm looking for them. Now, they, they stopped it down here, and we don't see selling down below that area. So I'm, I'm looking for buyers to try to break out through 50 right now. There's 50. Okay, and our iceberg is still there, 860 now, another 200 transacted. Okay, now 972. Okay, so there's 50, still looking for it. Still looking for it, now it's 1,000. And they're still there, it's a big iceberg. Hey, are we going to get our VWAP traders again, larger time frame traders, and just come in and start like hitting the hitting the bid hard here? Not yet. We're open to that though. Open to that scenario. Okay, here we are. Another retest back up here. All right, now on the retest, do we get more buyers up here? If we don't. Look for sellers here at 47 and a half, and then look for them to hit this pretty hard, hit the bid hard. Okay, first stop 46, next stop 43. 
Okay, and then after that, like, yeah, just lower liquidity. 40, 40 uh, 37. Okay, so a different couple of different scenarios here. So here they go. Here come the sellers. Let's see if they can do it now. Right? We have some confluences up here. We have high liquidity. We have high volume up here on the bid. I mean, by the buyers. But they can't seem to trade through it. Um, and uh, we have the VWAP as well. Uh, and now we're looking for sellers to try to try to reach some of these lower levels again. Right? Here is, this was our retest too. Our retest is what gave us some insight here. And then the selling in here. Right? For this move to go lower into some of these areas here. First stop was 46. The next stop is 40, 44. I said 43 earlier. Now let's look at the order flow in here. Not much selling. It's, this is not high selling. All right, so we're kind of meandering around a little bit. What if this was conviction by the sell side? You know, with, with big red dots in here, we'd be looking for it to trade down here. Here they go. Now we're getting our red dots now. Okay, so now that was a quick move too. So we got to break the range here. So there's 44. And let's look for lower here. Okay, and uh, 40. And let's try to, 40 is going to be kind of kind of key. Uh, that's the bottom of the range here. Yeah, Alec, I mean, the sellers keep coming in at that at this level. Yeah, kind of. Um, not um, is buyers keep coming in at this level, uh, it, and they just can't. They just can't seem to to. I mean, they we got the move into fifty. That's for sure. We know that. Uh, and this guy canceled. <laughs> he's 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 done. Uh, he got off a uh, uh, hundred or a thousand and eight, uh, and he's finished. Uh, we're actually getting a lot of buyers up here. Sellers, like, yeah, this isn't bad on the sell side. This isn't so bad either. These are pretty quick moves. Uh, and then in here, we're looking for it, and we didn't really quite see that activity here. We got it net on the next leg here, right? But we're still getting buyers up here. So they're still buying interest in here. So here we go yet again, right? So I'm again, I'm I'm looking for the move into this liquidity here. And I'm looking to see if we can break out. If we can, boy, not only 55, we should get to 60. And this is a key level for right now. No, no question. We've like we've got the VWAP. We know there's a lot of trading around VWAP. But we've got high liquidity, and we also have icebergs here. There it is. Okay, so now there's our there's our breakout. Now should do a lot better than that. Looking for higher, much higher. Uh, 55 and 60. 60 already pulled, so maybe we can even get up higher here. Okay, pretty strong volume, but 55 is the, is the next area to test. Okay, let's read the order flow here. This is going to be a false breakout. Pretty strong volume and a lot of volume behind it here. So I'm still looking for continuation. Okay, huge stop run. 516. So Alec, what would be the, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, pose the question here. What would be the, the second scenario here? Primary scenario is uh, we're, we're looking for this buying to continue. Yeah, what do you guys think? And then uh, let's see, is David David W in here? Like you, nice little uh, kind of uh, action in here. Uh, this guy got filled though. Uh, not necessarily ignition algo at all in this case. Looks like he wanted to get filled. That's the big difference between ignition um, uh, algo. Uh, this this looks like, and we kind of make that distinction here. So high liquidity, pulled, added lower, pulled, added lower, but then gets filled. Uh, let's see here. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, sellers, sellers, uh, uh, a break below the 44.50 area. False, false breakout. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, canceled ice is a, is a big clue. That's a, that's a good good uh, a good point. You know, they they canceled it up here. I I'm not sure what it what it means. Like, uh, you know, I mean, we could kind of look at it and saying like, okay, they're opening the doors here. They don't want to get filled any longer. They just wanted to get filled some somewhat, or maybe they got impatient. I I don't know. Uh, guys, we we already traded to 55. Okay, that was the primary scenario. Secondary scenario was this. If we came back down to where we just broke out from, we because we we and we we may and it still may actually we got to keep an eye on it here. Um, a lot of times we see the first leg huge stop run, get buyers on the hook after that, then the move back down to 50. Uh, so and that means that this is new buying coming in here because we don't see that there's stops. We know that down here, uh, and then we can get down below this guy here, right around in here. Uh, around 52. If we get down to 52, I'd, I'd be looking for the move back down to 50 and then it may be even uh, 40, 45 or lower. That would be the scenario. Okay, so, uh, yep, Osterman, uh, nice, nicely done. Um, yeah, yeah, so, you know, that's kind of what we're, what we're looking at here um, uh, is understanding these levels and then the order flow again around these levels here. Stops and icebergs has been really nice lately. It's been giving us a lot of a lot of good insight here. Okay, so now we can go over. Now this was kind of a quicker trade, up to fifty, and then to fifty-five. Uh, the um, that quicker trade, if that's the time frame you're trading. Then you can look to take your profit here. Uh, the um, uh, if you're wanting to hold for a bigger move, and that's a whole different ball game. Like you know, maybe you got in here, uh, and then uh, maybe maybe you took some off up here, or maybe you took none off, and you're just looking for a bigger move. Your stop would have to be down here then, though. You know, a, a lot lower. Uh, you know, at least. And just thinking about it here, just thinking about it, like uh, this is not a recommendation nor a study at all, um, is just to, to think about the order flow within this range down here. Uh, and if they, if if sellers can come in and get kind of below this 46 area here, because that's the most traded level, or let's say even here, uh, maybe they can retest it back down to about 44 or so. But, it, you know, you can almost kind of place your stop down here. Now, I, I don't like it because of the swing right here. Um, you know, I, I, I would feel safer to put it down lower below the swing. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, looking at and, and you know, you, you guys that look at your value area highs, value area lows, etc. This the concept is the same uh, is like look at this huge range in here. OK, where a lot of transactions took place in here. And we can get kind of the market to kind of push around in that area, uh, but still uh, be um, testing this area and then come back up. If we get sellers that can come back down into this area and lower, then you, you got the wrong move, basically. Uh, and then we're looking for continuation to the downside. Right. So that's some some con some sort of considerations here for for managing uh, your trades in here. Okay, that makes some sense here. Uh, the um, uh, yeah, uh, it, so if your stop is down here on the higher time frame, uh, you're still in this, uh, and you're you're looking for the move back up into 60, maybe 65. And let's zoom out some more here. Okay, where else might it go? 70. Okay, look at this big move here. Okay, this was based on the news, and. Uh, the geopolitical tensions in the Ukraine. Yeah, I know. I know a trader who caught all of that uh, as well. So he was actually in it before, but uh, pretty, pretty nice. Not, not bad.
All right. So anyway, makes sense. Now, you know, look, those are different time frames. Um, and but then you kind of have to ask yourself again, too, like for a higher time frame move. Like, how does this order flow look in here? You know, we know this is geopolitical news that can be upended uh, at, at any moment. Uh, and then, um, yeah, but, but, you know, you could be looking at the move higher back and forth and then again, a move higher. And if that if that's what you're looking at and, and that's what the, what uh, kind of your um, uh, your view is in here, well, now you got some order flow uh, to uh, kind of uh, guide you. And that would be kind of a breakout, uh, a breakout trade. But you could also look at these areas in here uh, as, uh, you know, areas of support where it broke out from in here. That, that again, would, would also be higher time frame. Yeah, you could even trade back, re retrace back into kind of this area in here. Liquidity here at 44.25, and you could still be bullish on your higher time frame uh, outlook. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this now. Okay, so we had the move up into 55, retest back down here. A move back up and a lower high and we're starting to see some selling coming in here okay so now the buyers are gonna they're they're trying to go back up here again and we have more we have a couple of icebergs up here as well okay so actually now I, I'm starting to like the order flow here uh, if we can get the sellers back down around 51 if we get some exhaustion up here and we make a lower high and we start to see sellers come in look for them to trade it right back down to 50 and then maybe they can break it back down into the range and hit 45 or that area we were talking about down here in the profile just the you know this this value big value area here is what we're talking about No, we're getting we're getting our buyers here. Okay. Back up to 55. Let's see if they can break out. Yep, there we go. All right, so let's see. We got our buyers. Okay, we have a stop run. And we're already back in the range. Okay, so let's see. Uh, this is kind of... Uh, well, if we go with the order flow... Um, I mean, it's really convoluted for the day here. Uh, all this back and forth in here. Uh, I mean, but based on this strong move here, yeah, we'd be we'd be looking for the move back up into the, like 60, uh, basically. Okay, and then maybe 65 and maybe 70 or 68. Okay, there's some exhaustion there right here at 55 if we get sellers here around 53 then we'd love to see them take it down to 51 a little order flow there or a little uh, on the bid uh, i'm sorry on the offer
And buyers want it. They're going for it. And right into some icebergs. Interesting stuff. So I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, we're getting kind of mixed signals up here. This breakout was, it came right back down into the range. Uh, we're looking for the move higher, basically, but it's trading up into to, uh, these icebergs. They're continuing to uh, absorb. And we can look at the power of this breakout, too. I mean, we, we still, overall bias is we're, we're looking for the upside move. Uh, the, um, just based on this, though, is it, it is not as probable uh, as, uh, as, as like some of these other moves that we're looking at. Like all of this buying, like we, as we covered, like all of this buying up here uh, into these areas in here um, and uh, uh, sellers trying to bring it down lower could, couldn't uh, bring it down lower. And then buyers snap it right back up again, many times over. Right? If this was like, and we we talked about the VWAP in here. You know, under understanding the VWAP in here, the the high liquidity, the icebergs as well. That's a good case to be made for like it trading back down. Uh, but we know that there was a lot of buying up here, and if the, also the case that. Many times here, one, two, three, four times, sellers never even took it down to here, to 440. So we're looking to see, like, them try to, and the buyers take it right back up here. We're looking to see if they can bring it back up to 55. And that's where we, we draw our, our range up here from 50 to 55. Okay, all right, so here we go. Here's, we got our breakout. Sorry about that. I missed that. Um, but yeah, this was the kind of overall move we're still looking for. Okay, we just didn't like this breakout in here. And we didn't like the order flow in here either. Nice. Okay, Doug. So uh, you're along there with uh, with Yuri or Dove. Ice cancel spot gamma 442 level. Green dot came in looking for the stop run for 44.50 to liquidity at 44.55. Yeah, and and now we're looking for 60. Sixty looks very very achievable here. I know we're already up there, but and, and that's a much easier call. Um, but uh, here, here's what we got, though, is like the swing high, uh, at least for the cash session here. And, you know, the, the, the breakout here and pretty strong, pretty strong uh, move here. Here and then just this next breakout up into 60 is also pretty strong so far. So looking for them to continue. Uh, test the highs. And let's let's get to the next level of liquidity at 65, 65 and maybe 68. Another iceberg iceberg executing here, a thousand, totally executed, and it's going against them. Okay, uh, 65 or 60 just did transact a bit. Hit another iceberg there. 200, 275 traded there. This is interesting. This is an iceberg for, wow. Detected. Okay, detected for 125. Oh, that's that. Never mind. That's correct. Right, there's our 
here's our move into 60. More transacting at 60. Note the liquidity under on the other side here. Okay, and note that it and note that it transacted too. That's important. I'll cover this in just a minute here. I want to see if we get our breakout though. See now, uh, there's the, this guy moved that iceberg up, and then a new one came in here too. New one came in here, 278, just transacted, and this other guy moved it. He's moved it twice now. He's up here, that 125. It's up here now at uh, this high liquidity level. So he didn't want the risk. That's that's kind of bullish. You know, up at 165 now. There's our move, 60. All right, let's see if we can get our breakout now. There we go, 61. Let's get to 62. Another stop run. God, people are just getting battered here. Okay, interesting move back down to below 60 so not much of a breakout again not much of a breakout here this is very similar to what we we're looking at over here not much of a breakout and then back and forth and back and forth and then finally it broke out okay let's see if well it looks like they're going to try to just take it right away here let's see if we get our breakout again here nope Okay, interesting book right now. Some see the 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 blue here. Uh, they're bidding up, but it's not really high liquidity. But it's a lot at, at these levels in here. You know, starting to kind of skew the order book, and we are finding buyers. They're taking this guy on here. Now, you know, reading the order flow in here. You know, this isn't some sort of like conspiracy theory or or, um, you know, I mean the market's always testing. It, it, and trying to understand, like, you know, larger players trying to understand, like, how, how much pressure is in here and which way to go with the flow. Uh, and they've got the size and, and the accounts uh, to be able to do that. Uh, you know, see how well it absorbs. Uh, see if it, if it trades. See what happens after. You know, and then once they've kind of tested it and kind of feel it out, then they can they can really go with a direction. You know, so we know that, that there was high liquidity here in the buyers, and they even got more uh, uh, aggressive here on the offer. They lowered it, and they transacted, and now we're back above it. So looking for the next level. We got buyers coming in here. They're interested. We know that now. See, we can read this and 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 um, we can understand their actions in here. Uh, they're they're going to provide it for us, and we're going to read it along with them uh, and get some insight. So we know there's buying pressure in here. So now let's see the breakout to 65.
Okay, buyers, you got it. Let's see if they go for it. Now they're going to test it up at this level here. They're going to kind of feel it out again up here, it looks like. Someone's front running here. Okay, it's 64 and a half. Okay, kind of dark in here right now. Okay, liquidity at 60 and a quarter. Okay, and some buyers, buyers starting to come in. All right, so if we get buyers back up here, I think around 62, uh, I think we can get the move back up. Back up into 65 here. We're not. We're not getting them. Okay, so here's the first test off of this little uh, uh, consolidation period here around 60. Okay, or consolidation and and look at the you know the uh, uh, the profile here. As you profile traders know, it's the, it, looking for a bounce off of the, the first test uh, to it. So this is the first test. That's actually now the second test. Uh, and uh, if we get our buyers back up here at 62, we should get the move back up to swing high and then 65. So 63 and a quarter and then 65. Uh, the order flow around this event here or around that bounce, some selling in here. Not a whole lot of buying here, but but no selling down here, right? So now we're looking for buyers up here at 62, and then for the move higher, because we we retested here twice, okay, off of that high high volume node, uh, and the retest is telling us something. Okay, there was a little bit of selling here, followed by a string of buying, another retest, no selling, looking for buyers back up here again, and the move higher. Okay, does that make sense? Understanding these retests as well in here, we're talking about liquidity tests in here. Now we're talking about something different. Okay, this was based off of profile uh, and uh, aggressors in here. We don't have much in the order book give, giving us much information in here. And here, here it is again up here. Okay, buyers up here and then lack of buying here, followed by sellers. Okay, so now we're starting to build out this profile a bit. So anyway, what we were, what we were just covering before the, it kind of went up here and failed. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what let's see what we get. Very high liquidity here. Two two different uh, price levels. Okay, they just transacted. The sell we did find some sellers take these buyers on. Okay, on the bid. Okay, now let's see if we see the buyers take these guys on at 62 though on the offer. Yeah, they're interested. They're interested. There they go. Okay, now let's see if we get just a bit more primary scenario now, the breakout up into our 65. There they go again. More buying pressure yet again. Okay, now we got to get back up above it though. We, we know there's buyers here. 
we got to get back up above it though here back up above 62 There we go. Okay, looking for the breakout up to this liquidity here at 64 and a half and then 65. Everything looks pretty good here. Order book looks good. Volume's not bad, but it, we're above it here. We know there's buyers up here, so we're looking for the move. And we got to the swing, the 63 and a half. Still looking for more though. And it cannot do it right back down. Interesting. Hey, we're going to get a stop run here. The people that bought that. Okay, we can still get buyers come right back up above 60 here. That's possible. Let's see. So anyway, this was... Uh, Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I like the move up into 64 and a half and 65 here. Uh, this is one of the reasons, though, like, you know, I, I like to manage my trades with and, and, and take some off at some of the swings uh, a lot of the time. Uh, if I don't, it, you know, see something in the order flow around the swing up here, because we don't we didn't get anything up here. The, the book was pretty, pretty dull until until they came in after. Um uh, I, then I just move my stop up and then uh, break even on the, on the stop. And I get stopped out of break even. I gave it a shot. I was looking for it. Uh, and um, uh, the order book really didn't tell us too much in here. Okay. But uh, I'm not going to give back my money on that. Um, uh, you know, yeah, even in here, like, yeah, you know, everything's looking good. It's, it's tried it a few times in here. Uh, and uh, everything's everything's good in here. Um you know, it's looking looking real good. That should should trade up into there. Uh, we had some buying up here, and then we had a lack of buying here. It just didn't find them. Uh, and then if we can get the sellers down below 62 here, they're going to move it right back down to to the low or the swing. Let's see if that how that unfolded here. Okay, there's our yeah. It happened really quickly. There's our sellers, and then here's the the order book as well, right? So we're looking for the move down to this liquidity here. Okay, and they're pulling down here. Okay, no, no, no sellers yet. No sellers yet. We can still get a move back up. Then, then we, then we get our sellers. And this is moving quickly. Um, and uh, just uh, follow through is a uh, little, little, little dicey, a little hard to read. Okay, we're right back up again though. And again, looking for buyers back up to this liquidity here, right where you drop from. Now we're getting into our environment like uh, we've been seeing here uh, several days in this chop fest. Right? Selling coming in. Uh, majority of the selling down here, buyers putting it to them back up. Uh, and uh, we want to see them come back up into here, though, really. 62. So, and then here's the buying coming back in, right in here. And then this is our kind of our, our pivot point here. 59 and a quarter. Bowie, you say back to VWAP? Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm 
mean, this is bullish. I mean, uh, it, maybe this liquidity here and this move here at 55. See the sellers down below our area here? This is going to be wicked here. Sellers down below it, we can get buyers right back up above it here. If we get more selling down here, I'm looking for the move, pretty quick move down to the bottom of the range here. If we get buyers back up above here, then I'm looking for a quick move back up to 61 and a half. Nothing, just nothing right now. No, no insight at all. It's just, it's all aggressors here. Just coming, popping in. Yeah, I mean, the aggressors have it too. And they, they, that's enough buying here to be able to reach this liquidity here at 62. Yeah, no no, no problem. And then they're back up above it. So do they continue? Icebergs are just all over the place. All right, yeah, let's see it. I'm looking for a quick move up here. Let's see. A little bit more buying here. Right here. Come on, let's see it. Let's see if you can do it. Skew in the order book. Do we find buyers? And then the these aggressors are going to come in really quickly and move it right up here, if that's the case. Look at how dark it is in here, right? So the, the, the aggressors can move it really pretty pretty quickly. There's some exhaustion, some buying up here. Just, just need a little bit more here at 60 and a half, and then they get, and then the move. All right. So anyway, guys, like uh, we're you know, uh, even on these little scalps, they're they're pretty tricky at the moment. They're, they're kind of tricky like it, it, it's dark in here you know we want the insight from the order book like those that testing like we we're talking about uh, earlier do you guys have any questions about that or maybe we should go through some examples in real time uh, and then I'll ask questions like like right now like we're, we're still looking for the move up into 62 uh, but uh, yeah here come the aggressors on the sell side Okay, and that liquidity at 59 is, it's not, I mean, it, that's good. Okay, 60, now that's really good. Now we're going to get some insight. So what what do we think? <laughs> and they just pull. Well, you can see, you can understand the test though. Now, is this a spoof? I, I wouldn't say this is a spoof. It's more like, you know, someone coming in. And, you know, I think we would all do the same thing if we had the big account. And here's our move up into 62. Now, I, you know, I was looking for it earlier. Uh, and then it w had to do all this back and forth in here. Uh, and then it was, it was kind of convoluted. But the test in here, even the test in here, this one didn't give us too much insight either, I, I don't think. High liquidity in here, that's good. We want to see that, and we know that, that that it kind of repelled sellers, and we found buyers. They were very, is very short-lived. They pulled and added lower, though. And it's like, well, it's still dark in this whole area. Sellers can easily move it back down to 59. Buyers can easily move it back down to, or back, back up to 62 at that point. And that, that's where it would just... You know, we're trying to get insight from these areas in here, uh, and um, uh, it's it's hard uh, with that, that that order flow. Yeah, 
boy, and, and see see how the sellers come right back in and move it like this. See how it's just because it's, there's not a whole lot of liquidity in here. They can do that. All right, so let's see Bowie let move your screen to up to get the big order flow off the screen, and you'll see what's going on behind. Yeah, I'm 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 not I'm just I'm, you know be honest I'm just not much of a I I do like the idea of VWAP because it's one number, and that you can start to build strategies around one number, whereas moving averages, boy, I, I have a hard time with it. You, you have to study it in, in detail, but, uh, uh, and it even, I, I really like the way JTrader uses it. That's fine. Uh, it is very specific. It's on markets that are already moving and he's looking for pullbacks to averages. Um, uh, I do like that VWAP is one number and we know that, uh, um, you know, larger players use that. Uh, however, it it for for me, it's it's like just you know try to read the the, the structure and the volume within the structure. Um, then looking at uh, uh, you know some sort of indicator. The volume and the liquidity and within that structure. And see how we're right back up here. Sellers moved it right down, and then we're right back up again here. And they're pulling here. Okay, what? Well, let's see if we can get some more on the on the bid here, and we're not. Okay, looking for some on the bid here because buyers they have it. There is some buying pressure in here. They're still going for it here. There it is. So we're up at 63 now, looking for the move higher, 65. 64 and a half and 65 have been in the order book. Uh, now, sellers can easily move this, you know, very quickly right back down. We need to, we need to see some conviction in the book here uh, along with this, this volume. We're getting, we're getting some. We can see the blue starting to add in here. We see icebergs on the bid as well, one on the offer. Uh, two are on the bid. Okay, at least native icebergs, put it that way. But good good stuff, Bowie. Yeah, looking looking for your, your pullback in here. Uh the um uh, just look for the order flow to support that idea. Yeah, again, I, I, I'd love to see th that test in here. And we're not getting it. We're not getting it. We're just getting aggressors in here, buyers. They should be able to have enough momentum to move it on up here. Um, that's where we see these sellers like this, though, just dump uh, and move it right back down. Okay. In fact, so primary scenario is still to the upside here. Um, but this this move here, um, let's, let's turn on, let's look at the stops in here. So here's what happened in here. The aggressor came in and traded, you know, hit, hit the bid hard. They, they dumped their position. Okay. And we know that because like, you know, look, look at the selling in here. 
Uh, and uh, we know that this is an atomic event, one event that's unfolding. And look where the stops got filled down here. 42 stops were triggered down here. Why were they only triggered here? Because first, this guy has to get filled. He has a market sell order. Stops are being triggered all within this area from here on down to here. And it doesn't matter where they are. His order gets filled, then the stops get filled. And they're, they're dumped here. This is slippage. And this is what happens to us. Uh, and um, uh, they didn't hit, hit that many stops, only 42. But this is a larger player that came in and did that. All right, let's see what unfolded here. So we kind of missed something here. Um, we got up to 64, and that was it. And then we got the dump. Okay. That looks like spoofing to me. It's not because they transacted here. But yeah, this is this is um, this is kind of classic. Um, you know, layering basically. Uh, guys, look up that um, uh, CME rule 575. You'll see in there that um, that document they, they talk about spoofing and they talk about layering. And this is this is layering here, multiple levels. Very short term, high liquidity, very aggressive, very close to the market. Uh, and uh, but usually and what what makes this the prohibitive practice is when they don't transact. They have no intent whatsoever to transact and this this person did start to transact in here at least at this price level all right so uh, now that 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 takes that kind of prohibited practice off off the table so they, they took some risk and they actually got filled all right but this is just this is what it looks like you know and this is it so anyway, uh, it, very different than it was years ago, um, you know, like 10 years ago when they'd spoof like and layering be several layers, maybe like, I don't know, an S&P would be like four or five, six, NASDAQ would be that plus like 10. Funny thing is, they only got like 64 stops out of it. That's kind of weird. So, anyway, is it profit taking or is it new new selling? We don't know, uh, but we do, we do know that the transactions took place and it had an, it had a pretty big effect in here. So, some tricky stuff in here, but we 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 kind of knew that already, right? So, choose your environment. And we're, we're, our job is is to read the order flow in here, uh, and um, uh, go through these scenarios uh, as many as we can, uh, and uh, we look for you know ones that are higher probability, uh, but we'll also look at um, uh, you know everything basically, uh, and start to understand this environment. And this is not the kind of environment I would like to trade in. Uh, if if you see like all of a sudden the is all the aggressors that that just come in and just like move it one way and then move it the other way, um, and we're not getting too much insight. Uh, so okay, well then um, I I don't have clarity. I don't have an edge, and I'm I'm not going to participate in that. All right, guys. Well. Any any questions um, on some of this stuff? And I'm not even sure what to title this webinar here. I um, have to think about that. Dazed and confused. Yeah, uh, Alec. Well, we we can go through some um, some some simpler things. Um, and the market is confusing. And there's so many participants doing so many things. Uh, when we have the clarity is when we want to take, you know, and we know we have an edge. That's when we want to get, get back into it.
<laughs> Call it back a VWAP pullback to 44.53. <laughs> nice. I like it. Good sense of humor. Uh, more of that is needed. Um, uh, <laughs> I think you're going to get it. I mean, it's, it's starting to shape up in here at least. Um, uh, the... Um, you know, we read the flow change in here. Are we making lower lows? Not yet. Not yet. Are we making lower highs? Not quite yet either. You know, but we see, look at the selling coming in. Now, this has been pretty consistent too. Earlier, we were reading the buying coming in and the buying pressure and the buying pressure. And then now we're getting, eh, you know, some buying pressure in some of these areas here. It should be able to lift. Uh, but then someone's coming in and dumping once. Uh, here's a little one here. Here's twice, three times, four times, right? This can shift the order flow here. And then Bowie, you'll get your move. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, we'll, we'll have to kind of wait and see and, and look for that shift. Uh, and um, look for the... Um, uh, not just the selling down here, but the book to kind of um, support it. Yeah, what to do when there's nothing to do. This is, it's a dangerous, dangerous uh, uh, thing to, to press the button when there's just nothing to do. Um, uh, the, the game here is about managing the risk. Looking for, knowing when you have an edge and then managing it. So don't press the button. Press the button when you know you have an edge. Load the boat. I mean, it, you know, uh, it's it. But you have to know you have an edge. And if it's if, if it's VWAP trading, then great. I mean, here here's a VWAP breakout here. And this is what it looks like. Here, let's let's. Uh, uh, deselect stops and icebergs for a moment here it is right we have the the move here's the move below it there's it's all over the place here's the move above it here's the move below it and then here it is as resistance here it is being tested as resistance and then here's the breakout above it on size Uh, and we, we were looking for that, even though it was VWAP, uh, even though like, uh, you know, th there was high liquidity in here. Uh, we know there's buying pressure in here and we're looking to see, though, if we can get back up. And we also knew that if if the sellers are going to come in, they're going to come in here as well. And they should move it then. They didn't. Uh, so we're back up here again, looking for the breakout, looking for the continuation uh, up into some of our levels here. We said 55. Then we said uh uh, 60 uh, and then we're looking for 65 and we got up to about here which is what 60 64 63 and three quarters 64 okay so uh yeah actually boy i, I kind of like your idea now uh, i'm starting to see sellers down here i'm seeing lower highs i'm seeing exhaustion up here okay, it's not so clear yet but i'm starting to see some sellers here great where are they going to move it Okay, how about here, this cluster, 55 to begin with, maybe a little bit higher. Here they come. Here they come, Bowie. Let's see it. Now, we don't have the order book uh, to help us here. We're just looking for the aggressor to move it down to here. Okay, so let's turn on the, 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 the order book here. Well, not getting too much out of it yet again. Yeah, I'm really not getting too much here. A little bit on the offer here, pulling on the bid. Okay, just retest the bottom here of the range. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, BB guns. Uh, yeah, waiting for your edge. That's what it is. It's, it's patience, waiting. I mean, like really... Um, any hunters or fisher fishermen in here? I mean, and you know, like, oh my God, sitting up in a, in a tree waiting for a deer. 
you, I mean, you're up there for hours doing nothing until 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 that deer comes along. Yeah, I don't know what you're pointing at, Bowie, 68 and 65. And why you're looking for that. I mean, I, I'm starting to see the curl around here um, in, the, uh, in the order flow. You know, we, we just made kind of a, kind of an equal low here, but look at these lower highs in here. We're going to get a little more insight here. See how they're testing in the book here. What's the, what's the reaction to some of this liquidity? All right, guys. Well, anyway, look, we have the um, uh, European close coming up. And this has been very typical par for the course. Uh, we're we're going to look for some volatility right now, uh, just here at the close. Uh, and then uh, we're going to look for follow through after, though. Okay. So, but I think we're going to we're going to end the webinar here, uh, unless you guys have any questions you want to you want to get in uh, last minute here. Uh, but um, the um, um, and and Bowie, I, I encourage you po post uh, you know in the room your setup. Uh, you know, because I, I don't know exactly what you're looking at and, and, and talking about here. Uh, so that this is like inevitable uh, retest back down to that 52 and a half. Yeah, I, I still don't don't quite see it. Um, anyway, uh, the um, Anyway, we're, we're, we're going to have, a, you know, we, we've been looking for the, these really choppy environments. So we get our opening drive around 930 in the cash open. Boy, maybe we should have the webinar at that time because those are, are very easy moves, I, I feel. Like, and you look for those continuation moves uh, at that point. Usually a, one kind of move the opposite direction. Um, and then uh, uh, this is quite typical. And then the strong move after that unfolds. All right, so here here's our 930 open here the move to the downside chop buyers come in retest buyers okay uh, you could be done for the day within six minutes five minutes uh, and have a nice move and then look at look at the webinar here okay so here here is when we started here 10 a.m in here and look look at look at this right but we had some good reads you know we, we're looking for the breakout we're looking for 55. We're looking for 60. We got it. We're looking for 65. Almost got it. Uh, and then uh, this is uh, still holding here. Uh, but I, I'm, I, I like uh, Bowie's idea. I like this. Uh, if we can get our sellers down here, and you can see we're not right now. They're, the buyers are starting to come in, and, and looks like they want to go for this liquidity here at 62. Okay, and then if they can, if they can kind of get these anyone that sold in here upended, we can get it back up to the highs in 65. Anyway, that's a possible scenario here. Uh, the one thing I just want to cover is is again the timing. Okay, know our sessions um, and know when like these kinds of moves start to unfold or or may unfold here. Okay, so we have we're going to have some volatility here due to uh, a, you know another part of the world. Uh, and uh, a lot of those traders closing their positions for the day or hedging or doing whatever they're doing. Uh, and then uh, and then we're going to get some see if we get some follow through after that event. Right. So here come buyers again and actually and look at this. Look at the dump. Right. And again, this is the same same idea that we were covering here. We saw it. We saw this behavior and it's repetitive here. Here comes the sellers. Right. And that's about the right move. You can even look at some of these ranges in here. 
on these dumps. And then every time we've seen that, we've seen buyers come right back in. So let's see, Bo, you, you're talking about this, these areas of high liquidity up here. Is that what you're talking about? 68, 80, 81, 82. Well, here, here's Move it and see what's below. All right, if you could, if you could take a screenshot, please, uh, that'd be great, and and post it. Would love to see it. Uh, all right, guys, let's uh, let's let's wrap it up though. And uh, European close. Look for some follow through later, uh, and. Um, uh, looks like Bowie's got got something here, uh, and uh, what what happens after it tests it? All right, uh, let's uh, love to hear your thoughts on that one too. So, uh, right, guys, have a good day. Uh, look for uh, Tom B to start streaming pretty soon, uh, and hopefully, you guys get a, a nice move here in, in, in more kind of pure direction uh, than uh, we have in this uh, this webinar here. Uh, but we saw, you know, a nice little solid kind of like, you know, 10 or almost 15 points here. Uh, and then uh, now we're getting our move back into the range here. Or back to back to VWAP basically. Or back to where it broke out from uh, our 50 level uh, and a little bit higher here. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. And uh, we will uh, meet tomorrow. We'll go over the S&P for about 15 minutes. And then JTrader comes in and we'll go over some stocks. Okay. Have a good day, everybody.